Live now to the Aurora Bridge and the first evening rush with two lanes shut down for emergency repairs. This morning we saw gridlock in both directions. We've been telling you about the bridge work all week and now Kyra 7's Essex Porter is there live. Essex? And let's first give you a look at that bridge work down toward the center of the bridge where you see the work crews have those two lanes blocked off and that's where they're working to make those repairs. As we swing around here, we'll show you the traffic coming northbound. This is the traffic from downtown in the heart of the evening commute. We see it moving pretty smoothly, some slowdowns, but not too bad. It's been going pretty well this Friday evening. However, when you take this bridge, you have to be ready for delays. Southbound traffic on the Aurora Avenue Bridge. The backup may look like rush hour, but this video was shot at 2 in the afternoon. It's definitely not great having lanes closed. Um, yeah, it definitely slows down the commute when I have to go over to Green Lake or anywhere over there. One of the three southbound lanes will be closed for the duration of the repair. One of the three northbound lanes will be converted to southbound. It's definitely going to cause a lot more traffic, I think. You know, during rush hour, I mean, we have bad traffic already, uh, but the closure is going to just make it worse. And we saw the Washington Department of Transportation work crew close a second southbound lane for a time to position equipment. That forced traffic to a standstill. It's a little frustrating, you know, especially if it's during the week, because um, that's a lot of people's main. Uh, road to travel to get into downtown. The Seattle Department of Transportation is trying to offer some relief. They've adjusted signal timing for some of the alternate routes, like the Fremont Bridge. I'll try to find other avenues to get through. You know, if I have to cut through Fremont, go through Dexter, and you know, find ways that's a little bit quicker. But at that point, it's you know, every road that you're going into downtown is pretty backed up. Engineers are closing two southbound lanes because they need the room for their equipment. They need to repair advanced corrosion on steel underneath the bridge before it becomes unsafe. Safety over over the convenience, right? So I'd rather be safe than, than not safe and we'll deal with the traffic as as we must. Back live now, not looking at the bridge itself, but at the protective fence, and you can feel it vibrate here. You know, this is an indication of what the bridge goes through every day. And let me ask our photographer to swing around and look at this expansion joint because that vibration occurs when cars go over the expansion joint. That's exactly what's happened further up the bridge. That's exactly what has made that metal separate and corrode, and exactly why they need to do the repairs. They say it's going to take at least 10 days, could be a little less. Could be a little more. We'll let you know exactly when they're done. Reporting live in Seattle, Essex Porter, Cairo 7 News.